Senior Finance Officials Meeting here at Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar, Baga, Bataan. To formally open tonight's program, please welcome tonight's host, the beloved Governor of the Province of Bataan, the Honorable Albert Raymond Garcia. Honorable Enrique T. Garcia, Congressman of the 2nd District of Bataan, and Mrs. Vicky Garcia. Ms. Geraldine Roman, the representative of Congresswoman Herminia Roman of the 1st District of Bataan. Former Philippine Treasurer Leia De Leon, representing Finance Secretary Cesar Purisima. City and Municipal Mayors, of course, with special mention to our host mayor, Mayor Ramil Del Rosario. Members of the Sangguniang Panalawigan, headed by our Vice Governor, Bonjong Pascual. Other government officials, senior finance officials, heads of delegation of the 21 APEC economies, and other members of the delegation. Yusek Hill Beltran, and other officials of the Department of Finance. Members of the APEC National Organizing Council. I would like to acknowledge also the presence of the developer of this beautiful resort, Mr. Jerry Akosar and his wife, Tess. <laughs> Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Bataan is deeply honored to host the workshop on fiscal management through transparency and reforms, which ended today, and the senior finance officials meeting, which starts tomorrow. We sincerely hope that the delegates will find our historic province to be the ideal forum for them to meet the challenge of addressing the regional macroeconomic and financial issues, as well as domestic and regional financial policy priorities. We are with the entire Filipino people who earnestly hope and pray that the goals and objectives of the FMP will be met, knowing that its success will lead to the broad-based development which is both sustainable and equitable in the APEC region for each country to enjoy inclusive economy towards a better world. But it is certainly not us, not for us to delve in these weighty initiatives of the APEC finance minister's process. Tonight, it is our self-imposed mission to momentarily take your mind and attention away from what you will be doing in the next two days here in Bagak Bataan. Helping us immensely in fulfilling this mission is the very place we are in, the Las Casas Filipinas de Acosar, a heritage park, Las Casas aims to bring, to bring you back to the 18th century Philippines. It showcases 27 houses of old, once owned by the elite of their time and place, carefully and painstakingly transported from various places, brick by brick, reconstructed and built for us to see them once again standing proudly and gloriously as before. For your entertainment, we have prepared a cultural show with the theme, Legacy. This will include another winning performance of El Gama Penumbra, the first grand prize winner of the recently concluded Asia's Got Talent competition. As we all know, the group won popular acclamation because of the unique and socially relevant message they impart in their performance, which is care and concern for the environment. We will be listening to the songs of Coro Bangkal Magbikin, a musical ensemble of the little children of our indigenous people here in Bataan. We will also be hearing the music of the Chamber Chorale of the Bataan State University, and of course, the Pangkat Kawayan of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. 
We also hope that you will find the time to venture out and explore Bataan. Not as famous as Boracay, but we do have beaches which are just as pristine for jet skiing, windsurfing, boat riding, and of course, swimming. As a peninsula, we are facing the South China Sea to the west, the Subic Bay to the northwest, and the Manila Bay to the east. To name a few, we have the Montemar Beach Resort here in Bagac, the Kamaya Coast in Mariveles, and the Anvaya Cove in Morong, which now boasts of having the best new golf course in Southeast Asia. Inland, we have natural water springs, falls, and they are all yours to discover and explore. We, we are, of course, part of world history. During the Second World War, Bataan was the place of choice of General Douglas MacArthur for the Filipino-American forces to make their final stand against the invading army. It was a valiant stand against a vastly superior force which led to the infamous Death March. April 9 of every year is Bataan Day, a national holiday in the Philippines. It was in commemoration that a national shrine was built on the very place where the last battle was fought. Known as Mount Samat, just a few kilometers away from here, the shrine is a must-see for tourists on a historical pilgrimage. Bataan is the only province in the Philippines that hosts two free ports and several economic zones. The very popular Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, or SBMA in the north, the Freeport area of Bataan, or FAB, in the southernmost tip of the peninsula, which is the fastest growing Freeport right now, the Philippine National Oil Company Industrial Park in Limay, the government arsenal, the first defense economic zone in Southeast Asia, the Hermosa Economic Zone, and the Morong Economic Zone. These industrial areas together with our local government units are the main engines of growth which provide the much needed jobs and other business opportunities for our people. In terms of accessibility, our province is but a few hours away from the international airports and seaports in Manila, Subic, and Clark. Traversing mostly paved roads through expressways, visitors will be instantly awed by the sight of vast expanse of green fields, forests, and mountains. Entering Bataan is like entering the heart of its friendly people. No one gets lost in our province because it is the nature of our folks to go out of their way to welcome and accommodate visitors. It is, therefore, with great pride and honor that on behalf of all the people of Bataan, that we extend to all of you our warmest welcome. Thank you very much, and please enjoy the evening. And thank you, Governor Garcia, for that very informative and inspiring message. As we look forward to more progressive and prosperous economies, we invite you to bring home the experience to take home with you a taste of Bataan. Allow us to give you a glimpse of what the province has to offer. May we now invite your kind attention to our stage screen. A visit to Bataan spawns a tale of many journeys. One path leads to the sea, the sun, sand, and serenity, as time seems to stand still before your eyes. Follow the path further inland, and you find yourself winding through passages flanked by verdant forests that lead to refreshing sights, sounds, and experiences. A 
another path meanders to a not too distant past. When life lilted to the pace of a foreign culture and faith. Amid the birth pains of a nation breaking free from colonial domination. Another track leads to a darker period. When vastly outnumbered soldiers and civilians valiantly stood their ground against impossible odds. Making Bata'an an enduring symbol of courage and sacrifice in the defense of freedom. This historic chapter is fittingly commemorated year after year by former combatants at Mount Samat. Now a prime tourism enterprise zone, allowing new generations to appreciate the past while freeing them to pursue new paths in their Bata'an journey. Many of these paths lead to familiar outdoor and indoor activities. Others open up to adventures young people crave for. Where they can unleash pent-up energy and embrace nature in all its splendor. Still other paths unravel surprising discoveries, born of Bataan's natural endowments, and unique historical circumstances. Such refreshing elements, both transplanted and indigenous, account for the rich diversity of flavors and colors that make Bataan's culture and communities team with vibrancy in life. In Bataan today, past symbols of freedom serve as gateways to a new face of the province as it embraces its role as the industrial workhorse in the Philippines' most dynamic growth corridor. What used to be a haven for Indo-Chinese refugees will soon be a technology hub for knowledge-based innovation. Already, the province's special economic zones are humming with activity, attracting investors, residents, and tourists at record rates. These provide visitors a glimpse into the evolution of Bataan as the bastion of a new level of freedom. But even as Bataan marches inexorably toward the future, it will continue to be a special place. One that carves one-of-a-kind journeys and memories out of nature and history. Investors flock to Bataan for a variety of reasons. First, there's the province's great location. Its main ports face Manila Bay, making them ideal for international transshipment of goods and raw materials. Bataan can also be a hub of Philippine operations as part of the booming economic growth quadrant that includes Metro Manila. Interconnected tollways have cut travel time between these economic centers, making it easier to manage logistics and supply chains. Beyond strategic accessibility, 
Bataan offers conveniences equivalent to being in the national capital. Streamlined business processes across Bataan's various investment havens, combined with well-paved roads and upgraded port facilities, smooth the flow of goods to and from factories, warehouses, and markets. The Bataan government values public security, ease of movement, and swift emergency response, giving investors the peace of mind to stay focused on business. As part of its mandate to streamline and harmonize policies, the Metro Bataan Development Authority oversees traffic management, peace and order, and a road safety system, seeking to make Bataan the safest province in the country. The One Bataan Command Center further empowers law enforcement and emergency responders. Feeding data from various sources into a command and control center, the system proactively protects lives and property. To complement this conducive environment, Bataan offers a superior basket of incentives, plus very competitive labor and utility rates. Newly improved, the Provincial Local Investment Incentives Code provides foreign and local business locators a sharper competitive edge. In Bataan's prime investment centers, locators are assured of the total package of benefits, from income tax holidays and concessions to duty and wharfage privileges, from domestic sales incentives to special investor visas, and much more. These incentives are matched by grade A infrastructure spacious work floors. Bataan businesses also enjoy cheap and stable power and water supply, as well as robust telecom, digital, and networking facilities. And best of all, with facilities like a petroleum refinery and a plastics plant, Bataan functions as the industrial workhorse at the vortex of Philippine growth. To many investors, the main value Bataan brings is its people. Highly skilled and motivated managers and workers are abundant in the province. With its eye on an industry-driven future, the provincial government has been expanding opportunities for educational and professional training. The province's universities, colleges, and vocational schools add 5,000 fresh graduates every year to the labor pool. This is augmented by the training of 6,000 technical personnel annually. The government maintains a 17,000 strong skills registry from which businesses can source just the talent they need. Yet another factory in the Bataan Investor Checklist is the quality of life. The province isn't just a great place to work. It also offers abundant opportunities to have fun and enjoy the outdoors. With a rich historical heritage and natural endowments, coupled with abundant tourism, recreation, and healthcare facilities, Bataan is a perfect place to unwind and soak in the local sights and culture. Bataan is also a perfect hop-off point to other major destinations in Luzon. Because of the pleasant living and leisure environment, Bataan is consistently ranked among the top 10 provinces in terms of the Philippine Human Development Index since 2003. Finally, Bataan offers a rich diversity of investment opportunities. Its various cities and towns are expanding their horizons beyond their staple industries and opening up investments in various priority areas. In Mariveles, the province's crown jewel, Freeport Area Bataan, or FAB, has been the fastest growing Freeport in the country. In 2014, the Freeport lured a record number of global businesses, registering a 3,740% increase in investments. With the entry of big garment brands, FAB is well positioned to become one of the best high-end fashion manufacturing hubs in the country. FAB also hosts makers of electronics, textiles, 
fashion accessories, optical lenses, tennis balls, leather goods, sports bags and accessories, athletic shoes. Straddling Mariveles and Limay is the PNOC, Alternative Fuels Corporation Industrial Park. Once catering exclusively to businesses in the area of petrochemicals, energy development, and related fields, the park is now authorized to host locators in a wide variety of industries that can spur economic activity in the province. The Bataan Technology Park in Morong overlooks the West Philippine Sea. It aims to become a major hub for knowledge-based industries, focusing on research, innovation, and applications development in information technology and related industries. The Hermosa Ecozone Industrial Park is strategically located along the Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, making it highly accessible from key points in central Luzon. The world-class industrial and leisure estate is open to non-polluting light and medium enterprises. Near the port of Lima, the government arsenal manufactures small firearms and munitions for the Department of National Defense. To support itself, the arsenal maintains and operates 124 buildings and structures in what would soon constitute the first defense economic zone in the country. The amended armed forces of the Philippines Modernization Act empowers the arsenal to offer tax-free and duty-free privileges to locators that can manufacture material for the AFP. Bataan's stunning landscape, coupled with its rich history, offers abundant opportunities for businesses to invest in new tourism projects. The Mount Samat Shrine of Valor in Pilar Bataan, for instance, falls under the flagship program of the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority, or TIESA. The program spurs the development of mixed-use leisure, national, and cultural tourism products for the benefit of local communities. The flurry of economic activity in Bataan would increase demand for public services and facilities. Hence, investment opportunities are also being lined up for the private sector to help build a new Bataan government center and business hub, as well as mass housing projects. So, whatever one's area of interest, as a standalone investor, or in partnership with local business groups. Whether to dip into the immense pool of skilled talent for a manufacturing concern, or to harness the bountiful expertise in information technology, management, and various other specializations for a service business, or to parlay strategic location into a regional transshipment and logistics center that would be hard to match or to tap vast picturesque expansions and unique sites for leisure and tourism projects. Or for residential, commercial, and infrastructure development. There is no better place to invest than Bataan. There you have it, a short preview of the essence of the province of Bataan, compressed in a few minutes. At this time, may we invite you to dine with us as we formally open our dinner banquet. Enjoy your dinner as you feast on a spread of international flavors with a local Bataan flavor. While we're having dinner, be enthralled as Bataan Musicology serenades you with classical music selections. <laughs> 